teaching platform this is mr mlonga aka the teacher my pupils calls me the teacher we are here to do mathematics indeed be ready for the lesson that is coming forth if you are new to this channel you are welcome please subscribe so that every time we post a video you are the first to be notified we'll be posting videos every day on the solving board today we are provided with a matrix a which is a two by two matrix it has got two columns one two and two rows find the positive value of x for the determinant of a is 12 so determinant of this matrix is 12 now we are asked to find the positive value of x when the determinant is actually 12 so we say solution First of all, you need to know the formula for finding determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. Determinant is also denoted by that. So determinant of A is going to be equal to product, product of the major diagonal minus product of the minor diagonal, minor diagonal. So, you need to identify the minor and the major diagonal. If a 2 by 2 matrix is in this form, A, B, C, D. This is called the major diagonal. Then this is called the minor diagonal. So, I'm saying this is the major well, this is the minor diagonal. So we have two of them. So according to what we have here, we have this diagonal and that diagonal, of which where we have two x and this x, that is where we have the major diagonal. Where we have three and two, that is where we have the minor diagonal. So we are going to use this concept. I've just put an illustration of the major and the minor diagonal. So x times x like that minus this minus is coming from the formula then 3 times 2 like that so just from this point the question says this is equal to 12 so we say equal to 12 like that that's 2x times x will give you 2x squared minus 3 times 2 will give you a 6, so equal to 12. After that, you can collect the like terms. You have 2, x squared is equal to 12 plus 6. Then, 2, x squared is equal to 12 plus 6 will give you 18. Divide by 2, even there, by 2. This and that will go. Then after that, you have x squared is equal to 18 divided by 2 will give you 9. This x is squared. So to get rid of the square, you find the square root on both sides. So we say square root of this and also square root of that. For the square root of 9, it can be a negative or a positive. So we are saying plus or minus. When you introduce a square this side, what happens is the 2 and the square, they cancel. So what do you remain with this side? You just remain with x is equal to plus or minus. What is the square root of 9? It's 3. According to the question, go back to the question. The question says, find the positive value of x. So we are interested in the positive value of x. In this case, what is the positive value of x? Therefore, we have the answer x is equal to positive 3. We are not interested in negative 3. So if you leave the answer like this, it means you have not used positive value. The answer must be emphasized as x is equal to 3. Or you can even indicate you put a positive there, but you know a positive can be left with a sign 
or without a sign. It's still correct that way. So with that, we have answered part A of this important question. We have found the value of x. What is important here is to actually use the concept of determinant being equal to 12. If you do not know how to find determinant, then it will be very difficult for you to even progress. After finding, knowing the formula for determinant, you have to also take into account that the determinant of A is actually equal to 12. So you have to equate the formula to 12. This is more like the formula after substitution, then you equate it to 12. Multiply 2x times x, you get x squared. Multiply 3 times 2, you get 6. Then this is equal to 12. You collect the like terms. x 2x squared is equal to 12 plus 6. 12 plus 6 will give you 18. Now, you want to find x. So first of all, divide throughout by 2 so that you get rid of this 2. Then x squared is going to give you 9. What you want to find is not x squared. You want to find x. So since this one is squared, you introduce a root on both sides. When you introduce a root on both sides, you are going to find x is equal to plus or minus 3. We have put plus or minus 3 there because the square root of a number can be negative or positive. If we say negative 3, negative 3 times negative 3 will still lead us back to 9. If we say positive 3, positive 3 times positive 3 will still lead us to 9. So the square root of a number can be a positive or negative. However, from that point, we should not forget the fact that it has to be a positive value of x. So you only pick on the positive value of x. But all these must be shown because you are a mathematician and you have to go stage by stage. But when you get back to the question, you are only interested in x is equal to 3. We can go to the next question. <laughs> When it comes to B, the question is to find A to the power negative 1. First of all, what does this mean? This means the inverse of A. That's the meaning. That is inverse of A. Then the formula for inverse is also important. You say A to the power negative 1 is equal to 1 over determinant of A times the adjoint of A, ADJ, adjoint, adjoint of matrix A. So, do we have the determinant? Yes, the determinant is there, it's 12, so there's no need of calculating the determinant. But do we have the adjoint? No, we do not have the adjoint. Adjoint of a matrix, if you have a matrix A, B, C, D like that, the adjoint of this matrix X, the adjoint of this matrix X is going to be X adjoint is equal to the numbers in the major diagonal. They exchange the positions. So here they exchange the positions. This one goes up. This one goes down. Then in the minor diagonal, what happens in the minor diagonal? In the minor diagonal here, we actually change the signs. Change the signs. Meaning that the adjoint of this matrix, how is it going to be? It will be the position of A will be occupied by D. So I have a D in that position. Then A will drop and it will be there. Then the signs have to change. This is negative. Yeah, this is positive. It will be negative C. This is positive. It will also be negative C. Negative D, sorry. So this is what is going to happen. Meaning that if there was a negative there, then this is supposed to be plus. That is the meaning. Or you just multiply by negative 1. You multiply this diagonal by negative 1. It will still change the signs when you do that. The inverse of A is going to be equal to 1 over determinant, which is 12. Then open brackets. 
we start by exchanging the positions. You write x there because x has to go up. Then this one will be a negative 3. This one will be a negative 2 because the signs must change. This one will now be a 2x. After doing that, we know that x is equal to positive 3. This would be now 1 over 12. Then x is positive 3. So we have a 3 there. Negative 3 here. Negative 2 there. 2 times positive 3 will give us a positive 6. This is going to be the inverse of matrix A. This marks the end of our lesson, please. If you have not subscribed, this is the time to do so because every day we'll be posting videos and it's important that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. Where you need to comment, you need to ask something, do not hesitate. We value your support, we value your contribution, be it positive or negative. Welcome once more and thank you very much. It's mathematics all the way until Jesus Christ comes.